Hey, 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 y'all. Okay, so this is new to my channel. First of all, welcome back if you're new. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. That's what I meant to say. I am going to do a general love reading for those who are single, maybe not in a twin flame connection. Maybe they are in a twin flame connection, but they're single and they're looking to, you know, um, get out of that twin flame connection or whatever the case may be, right? So I have um, a few decks here that I want to use today. Like I said, this is new. I have not done this before, so y'all be patient with me. Um, it's a new it's a new spread. And I'm going to start with some regular tarot cards. Well, my tattoo tarot cards. Um, I'm going to start with those. And we're going to get, you know, some energy out here on this beautiful Thursday. And see what's going on for the singles, for the collective, right? For those of you who are trying to get away from your twin flame. Maybe you're trying to get out of a karmic situation. Whatever the case may be, right? Let's see what's in store for you, okay? When it comes to love, I have... Um, two tattoo decks the tattoo tarot decks and then i have my um energy cards and then i have my um the golden dahlia destined oracle which is by maria rosa Sharico. her instagram is la bella nima 13 so yeah we're going to use those cards today and we're going to see what energy is out there for the singles right Spirit with energy is out there for the singles who are looking to get out of a twin flame connection. Maybe looking to get out of a karmic connection or just looking for love and trying to understand what's next for them. All right, Spirit, what is it? What's going on for the singles? What's going on for the singles? All right, we have the Five of Cups reverse. Good energy. The Devil card, Capricorn energy, Star card reverse, Aquarius energy, Nine of Pentacles. Reversed. And the Tempest card reverse. Oh, there's a new beginning. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Someone is moving on. See, I'm telling you, somebody's probably moving on from a twin flame connection. Or maybe they're moving on from a karmic connection. Okay? Whatever this is here, I feel like someone is tired of getting, like, the reckless Knight of Wands. Right? They're tired of you coming in or tired of somebody coming in and not staying. Like, this person has been waiting and waiting and waiting and now it's time for some change with the death card here we have um scorpio energy like i said we have leo sag aries energy the fool over here new beginnings lots of confusion going on right it's too much confusion going on within this connection and i feel like someone is about to take a leap of faith and move forward and move out of it and move towards something different see the, the issue that i'm getting here is even though these are the challenges it's like someone is walking away from something right but then we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's like somebody's not going to be single. Like you may have been struggling in a connection with someone, maybe not in an actual relationship with them. But it's like you're walking away from that and moving towards another connection where you're not going to be single anymore. So please clarify this Five of Cups. See, the Five of Cups is also in reverse, right? Which tells me because the Five of Cups is in reverse... That someone is, someone is not sad anymore about something, okay? They're not sad. They're kind of seeing the brighter side of things now. Um, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Page of Cups. And then we have the Six of Cups. So we're to clarify this Five of Cups energy. What are, what are they not sad about anymore? The Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card. Leo energy is strong here, y'all. Strong, okay? Um, someone is... Someone has not let go of somebody from their past. However, they are moving on. It's kind of like this person had this epiphany about themselves. They come into a realization of the, the, the innocence kind of behind the connection. See, the Page of Cups is a card that always makes you feel like it's sweet love. It's young love. It's puppy love, you know, or it's an epiphany moment about their feelings. Maybe they're not ready to act on them, but they're finally realizing it. And I get that this this energy, this the, this queen of wands is like or leo right they're brave now they're strong they're in their energy right and they're just like i'm not gonna let go of you but i am moving on from you because that's the will of fortune here like this person's moving on spirit clarify this devil energy this capricorn energy for us please clarify Ooh. too many cards we have the knight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and i don't know if they were reversed or not because of the way they fell And the three of swords. 
the four of wands and the king of wands okay so something has been very toxic it's been very slow moving and someone wants something that's strong and secure so they're like listen i might break your heart by letting you know hey i'm not gonna let go of you but i am gonna I am getting into something. And I feel like there's a celebration here with the Four of Wands. Some of you could actually be meeting your counterpart. The King and the Queen of Wands, y'all. Leo Sag Aries energy. Um, doesn't always mean it's a Leo Sag Aries, but you're meeting your counterpart. Some of you will be celebrating. Some of you will be forming a foundation with someone with the Four of Wands, okay? For some of you, it's a, it's a stronger commitment, like marriage, or it's leading towards marriage. But the Three of Swords here tells me somebody's heart's going to be broken. Because I feel like they're moving too slow for you. The commitment is too slow, right? So you're like, I'm done. And you and I seems like you're going to meet someone. And they're just going to be like you, but not like you. And they're going to be your masculine counterpart or your feminine or your masculine because it's the king of wands. But, you know, we don't have no genders here with the kings and queens. I just feel like more so someone's going to meet their match, right? So, yeah, please clarify the star card reverse. What is the star card reverse about for the collective with the singles? Two of swords. Seven of wands. Ace of cups. The devil again, y'all. Capricorn strong. And the four of cups. Yeah, someone's moving forward, definitely. And I feel like your person doesn't see this coming. Because this isn't a wish fulfillment. This isn't your dream come true. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place between the two of you. Maybe for you, maybe for them. But it's just it feels like it's not time. With the star card reverse, it will happen when it's supposed to. And now it's not lining up. So you're like, you know what? I gotta go. You know, head over heart decision. You're making a decision with your head this time. You know? Probably something different from your past. Seven of Wands, I feel like... You're defending yourself, standing up for yourself, you know? You're not giving up on love, but you're giving up on this connection. Like, And I know you're not because that's the Ace of Cups. So some of you are definitely moving towards a new beginning in love, and it starts with self, right? Devil energy, Capricorn energy, real strong here. I feel like some of you are just realizing how toxic that situation really is. Like, you can't really trust this person. You don't really trust this person, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like also with the Four of Cups, they've rejected you. They've rejected your offer so many times that you're just like, I'm pulling away and moving forward. With the Nine of Pentacles here, someone's not going to be single anymore. Spirit, clarify this Nine of Pentacles energy. Spirit, please clarify this Nine of Pentacles energy. We have the Ace of Wands, I told you. The Five of Wands, the Judgment card, the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Hermit card reverse. Somebody who has been, what I'm feeling, has been hiding from you, keeping their feelings from you, is ready to share. I feel like, you know, they have the words. You know, they finally have the words to speak how they want to speak. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here with the Knight of Cups. Um, with the Five of Wands, I feel like, you know, they've been kind of conflicted on how to come forward and talk to you and tell you these things. Um, but the Ace of Wands is telling me they're ready. The spark is there. They feel it, you know. And they want to come and they want to have a conversation with you. They just... I feel like they were looking on they were looking into how to do it. How to do it, how to make that choice um to make the right choice. They were seeing what is the right choice and they they're finally coming out there out that dark and somebody's not going to be single. Virgo energy strong here too. So to clarify the temperance energy in reverse. Someone needs more time, right? The justice card reverse, the hangman, then page of wands. The Three of Wands and the Six of Coins. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like it's a third-party situation, okay, that you were a part of and you're letting go of that. You're not letting go of the person. Maybe you'll still be friends, but you're letting go of the idea of being with this person. You're letting it go. And with the Justice card reversed over here, it's kind of like it could be a Libra, um, but it's like it's not fair, you know, and I feel like they need more time. They need more time, but it's just not fair. There's been nothing happening, you know, and they've been not, they haven't really been sharing a lot with you, talking a lot with you about what's going on with them and this other person. And this page of wands is just like, I deserve better. I deserve something, you know, exciting. I deserve something that is fireworks, you know, with the three of wands, you are moving on. You're, you know, you're, you're tired of waiting for that ship. You know, I feel like you've been waiting for so long and they still need more time. And you're just like. I've given and given and given six of coins. I, you know, you can't give it back. I need someone who gives it back. And I feel like there is someone who is coming in who will give you back that energy. Like I said, three of cups reverse. There's definitely a third party situation going on here, okay? We're going to get some energy here on this. These are just the energy cards. So I was just going to get some quick energy and see. I'm not going to go too deep into these cards because they do have very long meanings. But we're just going to 
can't get a good shuffle here. We're just going to touch the basis with these because that's what I'm looking for for this single energy, right? What's the energy involved in this connection? Or I'm sorry, spirit. What's the energy involved in this singles? What is going on? What messages do you have for the singles in this connection? What messages do you have? Not in this connection. I keep saying that. What messages do you have for the singles in the collective? Oi, 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 y'all. So we have cornucopia reversed. We have contracts reversed. We have adjacent possibilities reversed. And we have door to spirit reversed. And we have woman holding a heart and woman holding a coin. So I definitely feel like for some of you, see, what gets me here is you got the bag. You got the stability, right? Woman holding the coin. I always feel like pentacles, Virgo cap, Taurus, right? But, and I feel like queen of, queen of cups, right? With the woman holding a heart. But that's not what this is about. This is just energy. So I feel like you have the money, you don't, but you're still looking to share your love with someone. And that's really important to you. I feel like you feel, you've, you've been feeling very disconnected from this person for a very long time with the door of spirit being in reverse. You feel disconnected from them. But I feel like something is, opening up like a door is opening up for you and you're you feeling like you're gonna miss this opportunity to have what you truly desire and love if you don't walk through the door you know and then I, with this adjacent possibilities in reverse some of you are just realizing that there are more possibilities than this one connection that you had and you're seeking outside of that you know you're just like it's it's hard for you because you've been so fixated and it's been toxic we have the devil card twice out here y'all it's been toxic and it's just like you know if you you have to you're starting to realize and it's been hard for you that there are more possibilities for you with the contract in reverse it's clear you're breaking a contract look at this justice card reverse contract card reverse that's lady justice that's the lady justice on both of them some of you are like no you know no like this is not balanced this is not right this is not what i wanted this isn't fair and then also we have the six of pentacles which is about balance right like i said you you're this one this woman holding her heart like like you care so much about this person but you're breaking this contract like it's like i'm not fulfilling this contract anymore i'm done with this some of you could be breaking some soul ties here you could be breaking some ties with a twin flame and then we have cornucopia in reverse i feel like it's not fruitful it's not giving you the abundance that you desire so you're leaving you're walking away right now we have um what is destined to happen so i'm gonna pull a few of these cards and then i'm gonna pull a few chakra cards um just to kind of give us an idea of what chakras, you know, we may need to work on. So let's see what's destined to happen, right? So what is destined to happen for the singles going forward? What is destined to happen for the singles going forward? Overly analytical. Okay, so maybe you are over analyzing this situation a bit much here, and that's what's kept you sad, you know? But I feel like that that's part of the reason why you're letting go of it. Branded. See, I kind of feel like this situation has changed you. It's left a serious mark on you. You know, it is a soul tie. It's a contract that you have to break. And and this person will always be a part of you. That's why you're not, like I said, that six of cups, you're not letting go of them, but you're letting go of the connection or you're letting go of the attachment. You're letting go of the need to have this person as a fixture in your life. They're, it's, you're branded. Like they will always be a part of you. Be always, right? And we have rebirth, told you. Some of you are really looking to have a new beginning here with the death card over there. Like I said, some of you are going through huge changes and transformations. I'm not the death card there. Where was the death card? Oh, it was here. It was at the bottom of the deck. Huge transformations and transitions taking place here, right? Here was destined to happen. Sacrifices. Yeah, I feel like you're going to sacrifice because... You feel as though you're disconnected from spirit. Maybe you've been spending too much time consumed with the idea of this person. But what I'm getting here is sacrifice this connection or sacrifice this need to be attached to this person. And your blessings will come in. You will not be single anymore. I promise you. The last one over here. Oopsies. Okay. Oh, we have two. Waiting and mute. See, I feel like you've been waiting for this person for so long and they're not telling you how they truly feel. They're not telling you what's going on with them and this other person and keeping you in limbo. 
duality and all you really want is balance you want you know them to balance things out with you and they don't so you are moving on but good news for you is someone else is coming in like i said um it could be cancer pisces scorpio it's someone who's been looking for the right words to say to you and they finally realize it it could be the same person it might not be but we'll see right what's the chakra messages what chakras need to be worked on with this for the singles to bring themselves into alignment for the right kind of love that they truly seek we have mysticism. See, I told you, this is your third eye energy here. I feel like with that mysticism card, it's almost as if, it's almost as if some of you are looking too much to 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 to, 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 to I can't get the words in my mouth. You're looking to control the outcome of the situation instead of allowing it to be what it is. You know, I feel like there's a lot of mystery surrounding this for some reason. Self-worth, see? Look at that. That's the um, sacral energy. Some of you are, are needing to detach from this individual because you have to realize what you are truly worth. This person seems to have been breadcrumbing you. This person seems to always need more time from you for, you know, to get towards you. Impartiality, telling you, spirit energy here is strong. I feel like you, you just can't seem to connect enough with your higher self to see what you need to do to move towards what you truly want to have. Release, come on, spirit. That's another crown chakra energy. Some of you have to release this. It's it's past. It's the past. It's not your future. And then we have facade. Come on now. Solar plexus energy. Some of you have been putting up a, a putting up an act. You've been putting up an act, putting up some kind of facade. You know, this person has been not truly sharing their feelings. And I feel like mainly though for you, it's important that you don't entertain the facade. It's not real. It's a 5D energy, but it's not there. It's not your reality and it's not theirs. You two are not together. You're not. You have no commitment or anything to this person. You're not obligated to them. You know what I'm saying? And like I told you, this adjacent possibilities energy here, you have more options. But you can't see them till you let go. Expansion. This is the throat chakra. Some of you definitely are in the process of letting out the truth, possibly to your person. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it for your singles love reading. This could be for karmic. This could be for twin flames. Some of you who are leaving karmic situations, leaving twin flame situations, or looking for advice leaving a karmic or twin flame situation. I hope this helps you guys. If it has, give me a thumbs up. If it has not, give me a thumbs down. It's all love. Don't forget to comment down below and share with me how you feel. And um, if you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, website www.alchemygoddess.love. That's A L. K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S dot L-O-V-E. And you can purchase a reading. You will not be able to book an appointment, only purchase a reading, which will take two to four weeks to be delivered to your inbox, maybe sooner, depending on how fast I get through my readings. Um, if you're looking to speak one-on-one, -on -one, I will not be pulling tarot cards. I offer spiritual advice sessions where you will have to, we will have to speak over the phone or through Instagram Messenger. <sighs> All right, you guys, enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and I'll catch you manana. As always, y'all know what it is. Hey!